Hi there, welcome back to channel. Now today we're going to be making some cheeky little desserts. Uh, we've not really thought of a name for them because they're kind of our invention. I've been trying to think a name, pizza pastry, but that's not quite right. I don't know. It's a dessert that's inspired by a pastry, but it's with pizza dough. So if you can come up with a name, go for it. We'll try and think of what it is. But I've got a feeling they're going to come out great. Now, for this, we're going to use around 75 to 80 gram of dough. So it's quite a small uh, sort of pastry style. And it's going to have different fillings on it as well. So we're going to do three different ones. We're going to do one with custard and almond, one with jam and almond, and one with cinnamon sugar. Because the cinnamon sugar ones are always amazing. So let's give it a go. Right, so as you can see here, I've already got the dough balls, which I've sort of got ready and put in the Samoa. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten them out now into a little circle. And then once I've got them stretched, I'm just going to poke them with a fork as well so that they don't rise up so much, especially in the middle. And then we're going to put our filling in them. Got these stretched out. So our next task is just to poke them all over with a fork. This will just sort of help with them not rise. They will rise, believe me, they rise, but like it will just help, especially in the middle, which is where we want to concentrate because that's where our filling's going to be. Uh, so yeah, they will they won't rise, but at least if we put them with a fork, it might help just to sort out any bubbles or anything like that that we don't really want. They have number one, so... Number? Yeah, so we're going to blob some custard in the middle of this one. Nice big blob. That one's going to have almonds on it, but we're not going to put the almonds on until afterwards, or, or sort of near the end of cooking, because we don't want the almonds to get completely crisped up and burnt to bits. So I'm going to just try and get it in the middle. This is some strawberry jam. That's what we've got here. Strawberry jam. And finally, I don't have a spoon for this one, but we've got some cinnamon sugar, right? But before I do that, I'm just going to get some melted butter. I'm just going to brush it all over. Just so that this sugar sticks to it because and I'm just going to take a wee bit of melted butter as well on these ones and try and do it around the edges. Now you need to be careful when you do this because you might struggle getting stuff on the peel if you make the mat wet or if you make the bottom of the dough wet so you could have issues so just be careful when you're brushing around the sort of edges of these that you don't make things too wet because that's what makes things stick and you don't want it sticking because it ends up everywhere otherwise so that'll probably do, that's fine right, so I'll just use my fingers for this bit and I'm just going to I'm, I'm aiming really for the middle again so that'll probably do right, so we've done that so the next thing to do is get these on the peel and then put them in the oven so let's get that done there we go. So into the oven it's gone. To the oven we go. And then we'll sort them out from there. I did get a bit, because of the wind, it did catch this side of this one a bit, but that didn't matter. So let's go and finish it off. Now the exciting part, we've got to ice them. Now this is the cinnamon one. Cinnamon bun, it almost looks like, doesn't it? Cinnabun. <laughs> so that looks lovely. Gorgeous. A bit more icing, because why not? Because cinnamon and icing just go amazing together. And then we've got our almond jam, sort of, eh, uh, pastry bun thing which looks gorgeous look at that that looks really nice doesn't it mm -hmm. it looks so tasty 
and finally a custard one, which I did burn a little bit on the edge, but oh well. Nothing wrong with a bit of crispiness. And there we go. I think those look fantastic. Look at that. They look delicious. Absolutely delicious. I might just eat all three of them by myself. But yeah, lovely. So there's a good wee idea for you for dessert. I'm going to try them. Yeah, try them. Should I try them? <gasps> oh my god, nice I'm so stuffed. I don't know what one to try. They all look so good. What one would I try? Well, leave the custard and almond one for me. <sighs> right, the sound of that one. Dips that one. Jam then. Let me try the jam one. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. As you can see, the dough is gorgeous. And the sweetness of the jam and the almonds is gorgeous. It's got, it's got like a posh jam on toast. That's what it tastes like. Mmm. But it's so good. So yeah, give that a try. It's gorgeous. Like, subscribe, check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye.